interview with Tom Deacon. Hi there. Radio 1. Hi there, Tom. Nice Another to fellow Tom person. Exactly. This is nice. Exactly. This is going to be easy. Are these, are these difficult questions? Hopefully not. Okay, Hopefully good. not. Yes. Fingers crossed. Okay, question one. Okay. Uh, what do you prefer doing, radio or comedy for live audience? Ooh, that's a very um, that's a difficult question, actually. Um, I, I love radio. Uh, I love it. It's, a, it's the coolest job getting to do Radio 1. Um, but I also I started doing stand up comedy. For me, this is the, the best sort of thing I do, you know. But, uh, but I'm more used to this, I'm only just getting used to it. But maybe come back in like three years, four years' time when I've got my own breakfast show or, really? eat or drive time, and then ask me, and I'll probably go probably Radio 1. But at the moment, I love my stand up set. Cool, okay. Do I get points for this? Do I? Yeah, yes. Points, okay. points I'm marking points, it. Sean at the back behind the camera, all right? Sean, I've got one point. Is that got one, one point? point? Yeah, point? And what yeah points he's on minus out? one. What do points get out? Prizes. A ticket out of South End? Okay, cool. A mention okay. on Radio 1. Exactly, exactly, yeah. Okay. I'm right. going to mention us actually, doing yeah. Radio 1 Sunday. Tom, Tom and Sean did an interview. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and Sam In the most it. futuristic building. I genuinely exactly. thought I was in the future when I came here. I was like, where do you. And they, 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 <laughs> the people, the receptionist down at the bottom, they said, do you have any alcohol in your bag? I went, no. What, what would happen? We'd confiscate it. <laughs> and I was like, you? You're tiny. But I reckon she does. Is that a promise career? Yeah. Is it mentioned on Sunday? Yeah, yeah, that can happen. That's, That's going to happen. Yep. You heard it first. So, uh, yeah, it could be bad though. Yeah, it's it not. Be, yeah, yeah. Check, back, it's check back in like a month or so when, when you the haven't done it. Out. Yeah. <laughs> okay, no problem. Can I also point out for the rest of this interview, I will be holding my chewing gum in my hand. So, okay. Do you want to zoom up on it? Yeah, if you want. Let's try and. Let's try and. There we go. There we go. Yeah, that's fine. That's beautiful. Really? So, awesome. detail. Um, okay. Okay, question two. Yeah. What got you into comedy? Ah, uh, what got me into stand-up comedy? Um, I had this idea after seeing stand-up comics on the TV that like being the funny guy means you're the coolest guy in the sort of the group, and I kind of emulated. I was thinking, I would quite like to do that, and I also loved comedy. I thought it was like, the best thing I loved to watch. And uh, once I started giving it a go, I realised. Maybe it might not be for me, and then I worked at it, and then before long, um, got sort of funny. Um, as soon as someone finds out that I'm not actually funny, then I'm in trouble. That's fine. Yeah, that's you heard it here problem. first. <laughs> yeah, you heard that here first as well. <laughs> yeah, um, I hope get half. A, I'll give half. I'm going to point myself half a point for that one. <laughs> okay. What has been the worst thing someone has heckled at you before? The worst thing someone's heckled at me. Well, normally you get told you're rubbish, and they use worse words than that. Um, heckled, uh, someone's heckled me, uh, where's your mum? Um, I didn't know whether that was an invite for my mum, uh, but, but I think they were saying, you know, you're too young to be doing this. Uh, but the funniest one I've had is, is when I was in Chudley, down in the southwest of England. Ah, uh, uh, Chudley. If you Chudders. They, 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 they been, no, <laughs> neither had I, and I won't go back ever again. It was their first ever comedy night. I don't think comedy exists in Chudley. Um, was it the West Country? Definitely the West Country. It was, oh, was it? I went to Union Exeter and I went <laughs> down there and it was pitch black there and I couldn't really see the audience. I'm through the gig just doing material and then out of nowhere someone shouts, well, my mate thinks you're fit. And I was like, oh, I'll take that. Extra point. That's Extra not a point, diss. Yeah. And I Extra said, oh, what's what she, what she look like? And the honest response that came back was, she's got a head and she's got a hair. And that was, that was it. <laughs> Weirdest heckle. So they sort of ran between oh, weird and, um, yeah, and so I'm swearing. Okay, one last question for your bonus point. Okay, this is it. What inspires your material? Oh, uh, easy. Oh, do you want to answer? Um, what inspires me? Uh, my mates, genuinely my mates, my girlfriend, oh, my sister. I can't, I've written through two books just listening to her. Um, and uh, she's generally good to me. For example, like people walking past and how they react to the camera and how they freak out or do that walk and they go, oh, there's a camera. Is that anything? Anything. That's, that's, that's a wrap. I, I would take the hand. Yeah, yeah. Total of five points, I think. Yeah, we go left hand. We could just do it. Right, Have you know just a little thing? You yeah. know when you're doing high five? If you look at the other way, we caught a day there. <laughs>